Yeah, yeah. This bout, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be over six, six, I repeat, six rounds. Ready for the set? Set the counter. So here we are for the big fight that we've been waiting for for tonight. For a master, 65.8 kilograms and he's up against Charles Manucci, 67.8 kilograms. Well, this fight is scheduled for six rounds, so it's going to be a real feast of blood and sweat as well as tears. That's boxing at its best. That's just the tip of the iceberg of what's going to come. You can feel the heat, you can hear the sting. It's all left now for the action to continue. So there you can see, there's a bit of history regarding the two boxers for I Master, a great experienced boxer in Zimbabwean circles, has been doing a lot of work in the ring and uh, he'll be expected to do a whole lot of great things in his fight here. Now Charles Manucci has got a very, very interesting history. He won 37 amateur fights and in his very first fight as a professional got to have a fight with one of the champions. Managed to get a victory out of it. Ironically, the second one was another fight against the champion in the world away category, and he notched a win. So, can he make it three out of three, Charles Manucci? Can he be able to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee? We'll have to see what will transpire in this match here. Yeah. Oh, great combinations that are coming through from both boxers. Manucci! Taking the initiative, but of course, Farai Master will not take that lying down. Is Manucci pretty comfortable in his step? And of course, Farai Master using a wealth of experience to make sure that he throughout off any challenge that comes from his challenger. Wow! It's a great one-two combination, that. Eh? Starting off with the left and just finishing off with the right. Manucci. He's got a lot of strength in his reach. And very interesting to know that both boxes have got just about the same height. So it will be a 50-50 situation when it comes to the height. Manushi enjoying just a little bit of an edge. It's great work that's coming from the two boxers, yeah. And that's the end of the first round. It's been great action that's been taking place. Fantastic start to the bout. The second round of this bout here, Farai Master in the red corner and Charles Minucci from the blue corner. Wow, that's a fantastic combination of the right and the left hand. But the warrior, Farai Master, would like to continue making sure that he keeps his opponent at bay. They're just sizing each other up now. It's great footwork by both boxes, they're moving. And that's one of the principles of good boxing technique, getting to make sure that you step well. Manucci enjoying a two kilogram advantage and look at him just making sure that 
Master has no balance and gets him straight to the bar. Two ropes there. Well, the two boxers getting a little bit tactical now. They know that uh, they probably are at par and would like to use the technical way of getting to beat the other. Wow, that's a wonderful punch there. That right punch right onto the kisser. But of course, for I must die in the white and red pants, would like to make sure that he brings forward his wealth of experience. It's Manucci taking the initiative and making sure that he keeps Master at bay. Master very much wary of the fact that there's a two kilogram difference between him and his opponent and would like to make sure that he gets to end this fight earlier because that two kilograms might work to his disadvantage if he lets the fight go to the later stages. two boxes are engulfed in. They have to make sure that they grow a whole lot more tactical, but for Ryan Master, it's not just bringing the wealth of his experience to practice. Will he be able to withstand the pressure that's coming through from Charles Manucci? Wajira would like to call him Manucci. He's a man who hails from Mashingo. But of course, there he is, just adding a bit of bounce to his stance. The two boxers seem to have reached the apex now and will do so well with some recovery time in their corners. And just as well, the bell goes to end the second round. Oh, what a fight, what a fight that we've got on our cards. As we brace, as we brace up for the third round, it must be interesting to know that in the blue corner of which Majuchi in, there is Issa Piri, who's helping with the technical advice to Charles Manucci. But Farai Master has got Alfonso Zanika in his corner. So two great boxers in each of the boxers' corners. And there you can see Charles Manucci just letting Farai Master throw blows at him, wanting the crowd to get a bit agitated. And then he comes in with a kill punch. Yes! He knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. Oh, Charles Manucci, what a phenomenal boxer he is. see all those punches getting through at him we thought he was probably finished but he's just shown his pedigree by just letting a few blows go through to Farai Master and down to the canvas he went I was talking to his manager Rob, but before this encounter he was saying that that man Manucci is a great boxer and he's predicting that he might one day become a world champion and we're just seeing signs of that today my oh my for i master down and could he be out for the second time he's been floored to the canvas charles manucci flying like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. The action
action will continue now and it's twice in this round Charles Manucci has floored Farai Master. Can Master be able to live up to the expectations as the bell goes to end the round? So it's round number four. Charles Manucci. It's a great wealth of confidence that he has got. It's a wonder that he's such a phenomenal boxer. There the crowd goes. Charlie, 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 cheering on Charles Magnucci. And immediately he gets into the thick of action. Oh, Charles Magnucci just coming in very strongly in the bout. But for our master, he's got a wealth of experience and he would like to put it into practice right away. Manucci just ducking that blow that has come through. Farai Master getting his stance to make sure that he takes the initiative. He wouldn't like to be flawed like the two instances that transpired in the previous round. There you can see the um, referee of the bout it's just instructed for our master to desist from doing any handling. Look at those powerful blows. Look at how powerful those blows just come landing. For I master just survived that onslaught there. Charles Manucci being floored, getting to floor for I Master. Well, Charles Manucci has got such thunderous blows. He's made great preparations for this fight and would like to make sure that he fulfills the dreams not only of his own but of his. managers and compatriots as well as his fans there the blows are coming in very strongly from Manucci look at the way they just come the uppercuts the left right combinations it's Manucci's right uppercut that's causing a lot of problems for Farai Master. That right uppercut, look at it, look at it. It just comes in very strongly. And Farai Master has been having a lot of difficulties getting to thwart those, getting to deal with them. And again, it's the end of the end of round number four. The seconds have gone for the start of round number five. And the crowd is just going crazy chanting Charles Manucci's name. But Farai Master has had some great advice from the corner where he's got Alfonso Zonica, the former Commonwealth title holder, and also another contender for the Commonwealth title, Mishek Kondwane. They've been giving him a few tips when they went for the break at the end of round number four. But it's those uppercuts, those uppercuts once again causing problems for Farai Master. Well, Farai Master floored for the fourth time and still wants to continue. There he is, that's a good blow, that. Lovely left jab there from uh, Farai Master. 
just to tease his opponent, just to size him up. But it's those powerful uppercuts that have been coming from Manucci, oh my, oh my. It's getting stronger, getting firmer. He wanted to inflict a killer blow there. You could see that Charles Manucci just could not get to its target. But that was going to end it all if it had landed on Farai Master. Luckily, or technically, Farai Master ducked there. So the action continues. The 2009 Independence Boxing Fiesta here on ZBC TV. And of course, it's thrilling action. The crowd chanting Charles' name, but Master remaining strong. Remaining strong. And it looks like fatigue has got to grips with both boxes. They've got to be a whole lot stronger because we need a winner here. This Manucci just trying to accumulate a whole lot more steam. See, it's the uppercut that Manucci banks on. It's that great uppercut that banks that he banks on. Here we are for the sixth and final round. Can we be able to get yet another flooring in this round, or will it be left to the referee to come up with a unanimous decision? Or split decisions, if it were. Let's get to see what the next three minutes will have in store. The action continues. There's a whole lot more mobility that's coming from Farai Master, but Charles Manucci is just holding up the fire so that he just clears it off. He comes up with these thunderous blows, and there it's coming, there it is going, there it is going, right through, tucking Farai Master into the ropes. Well, Master has got his mobility to thank. He's got strong feet. We're talking about it before the bout started that Farai Master has got strong legs and he should be able to use them to carry him through in this bout. But it's the strong hands that Charles Minucci has got. That great right uppercut he's been backing upon to floor his opponent four times already in this bout. Can he be able to put it into practice in the last and final round? The, cloud, the crowd is chanting. Everybody's at the edge of their seats as the action continues. The last and final round. The referee there just instructing Manyushi not to hold on to his opponent. We would like to see the last stages of this fight now. This is the twilight stage of the bout, and it's promising to be a thriller. The combinations are coming through from Manucci. And fatigue seems to have gripped both boxes, but they're all determined. They're both determined to get this through. Manucci, all the way from Mashingo. And Farai Master, the man who is in the Marmar stable in the capital. Good duck by Manucci. We've really seen him do that, being cornered to the ropes and then having to duck like that. That's twice his had to do that, Manucci. Looks like fatigue has got a grip with him. Now, Master, can he be able to seize the opportunity? And that's the end of the round. The end of the round and the end of the bout. We remain to see 
what the referees have in store for us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we go to official result, ladies and gentlemen. After six rounds, we got the winner by a unanimous judge's decision, ladies and gentlemen. The winner in the group of the Charles Manucci gets the tickets to challenge the Zimbabwe welterweight champion. This, remember, was an elimination bout, and he has eliminated Farai Master to get a crack at the bout. I'm talking right. I'm going to get it. 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 I'm to get that's in that's my punch. I don't know. 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 I don't know I haven't been. I haven't been. I haven't been. I I Thank you.